वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो ऑन एन एस थ्री ए पॉपुलर ओपन सोर्स नेटवर्क सिमुलेटर टूल यूज बाय रिसर्चर्स एंड डेवलपर्स टू डिजाइन एंड इवेल्युएट नेटवर्क प्रोटोकॉल्स एंड एल्गोरिदम्स इन दिस वीडियो विल प्रोवाइड अ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू एन एस थ्री एंड इट्स फीचर्स एन एस थ्री शॉर्ट फॉर नेटवर्क सिमुलेटर थ्री इज अ डिस्क्रीट इवेंट नेटवर्क सिमुलेटर दैट प्रोवाइड्स अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू मॉडल सिमुलेट एंड एनालाइज a wide range of communication networks ns3 is developed in c++ and offers a rich set of libraries and tools to simulate both wired and wireless networks it's designed to be highly modular allowing users to add new protocols and models with ease ns3 offers extensive documentation tutorials and examples making it very easy for new users to get started the nsc community is also very active with regular updates and contributions from researchers and developers around the world in summary nsc3 is a powerful and flexible network simulator that provides researchers and developers with a platform to model simulate and analyze a wide range of communication networks whether you are studying computer networks developing a new protocol all just testing network applications ns3 can be very helpful to achieve your goals so viewers in this video we'll look at the steps to configure ns3 in your device first of all let's see the minimum configuration to set up the ns3 in your laptop or desktop the minimum configuration of the hardware requirements includes the 8 gb of minimum ram and any intel i5 or higher generation processor it doesn't matter what your model number is or what your generation is just the thing is any intel i5 or core i5 or higher generation or you can say higher core processor you need to have linux operating system for running ns3 however ns3 is supported for all linux mac os and windows system but linux is primary system supported and almost all ns3 features are supported on linux windows is probably the least used and least supported system and the problem is we only have windows right <laughs> that is not actually the big problem we can use virtual machine simulator and run ubuntu in our windows system i am using vmware workstation pro you can also use the same if you want to follow my upcoming sessions now As you have the virtual machine, you need the Ubuntu OS. You can directly search for Ubuntu 22 or any higher versions of Ubuntu's .iso file. You can download that file as I have the Ubuntu 22 downloaded. Once you have all three of these, you are good to start with configuration steps. Configuration steps have two parts. The first is setting up virtual machine, setting up NS3, and running a first code in NS3. So the first step is setting up virtual machine. First of all, you have to run this .iso file in this VMware workstation. The workstation will start the Ubuntu's .iso file and it will be like you are setting up Ubuntu in your machine for the first time. It will be very easy as it will be just downloading some packages and configuring username, date and time, etc. You can easily do it by your own, so we'll not uh, further move see upon this. Now, the second step is setting up NS3. Now, once you have started your Ubuntu machine, the home screen will be visible. Now, in this step, you need to configure the main thing, NS3 simulator, right? There are several ways for configuring NS3. The first is using GitHub. then using zipped version and etc we'll configure using the zipped version to begin with you need to go to official website of the ns3 which is www.nsnam.org now under the download section you can find all of the releases of the ns3 we'll go for ns3.37 and under the download sub section you can download the compressed source code archive once you have downloaded the archive extract it and now 
you have to enter some sequence of commands. The first command is sudo apt update just to make sure that everything in your system is up to date and every packages are up to date. Then There is a big giant command that I'll be providing the command in the description box of this video. So you can copy paste and just enter this command. These are the libraries or you can say packages that will be required uh, as in dependencies for the NS3. Then just go to NSL all in one 3.37 and open the terminal and now you will enter the command or you can say run the build.py file by the command dot slash build.py it will take not much time but depending on your configuration and machine it will take up to one hour Now as you have set up the NS3, second step is to running first code in NS3. Now you can go for examples slash tutorials folder and from there you can find variety of tutorials as an example script for you. We are going to run very basic script which is first.cc. The first.cc mimics the very basic point to point topology of a network. A point to point topology, this is the code will be explained by me in next video in very much more details but for now let's see the standard sequence of steps to run any code in NS3. Consider that you wrote this first.cc file and now you want to run or you can say simulate the point to point topology. The first step is to having this file under NS3 slash scratch folder. You can enter the command from the NS3 directory. You can open the terminal and write cp dot slash examples slash tutorials slash first dot cc space slash dot slash scratch slash new underscore first dot cc. It is convenient to change the name of a file since any unpredictable change can cause the changes in code. So your base file will be safe at examples slash tutorials folder and anytime if something goes wrong you can directly copy and replace the file by using the same command that we have just seen now you can have your file inside ns3 slash scratch folder so you can use the below command to run the file from the same folder which is dot slash ns3 run new first since the ns3 is inside the ns3 directory so you can use dot slash run then file path from the ns3 directory to run any file right so this is the output of the command or you can say this is the uh, actual out executed uh, output for the first dot cc file Thank you for watching this introduction to NS3. We hope you find it informative. For more information on NS3, please visit the NS3 website or NS3 community forum. We will see you in the next video. Till then, 
Keep learning, keep exploring.